go. One, two, three, four, five red lights. We're holding and we're off. It's going to be a actually a great start for Tigzies. He's going to get side by side for a second, but the second stage out of Bradley. He's going to get side by side for a second, but the second stage out of Bradley was able to pull away even better. And it's keeping it clean, boys. Let's keep it clean all the way through as we see Danza coming around the outside of some of the some of the drivers. We do have a a lost P5 act. and P6. So you're going to expect multiple overtakes there. There's a Haas versus the Ferrari, and that's two gain two positions gain there from a v Mr. Flon, so that's a bit of pressure on the back of Jacob. So they're all pretty spicy and pretty tight. And remember, there's no DRS activated just yet. So it's three of those DRS activated, and they make a huge difference. Yeah, with three, uh, with three DRS zones, the second trade. Uh, if you couldn't get the first one done, you get the second one for free. As we see, actually, up the road, Flevo is... Uh, whoop, there we go. There we go, Flevo. The Alpha Tower just making a little gains up the track, unfortunately. So if it's the case, and if that's it, that's a you overtake. There's the way. There's a thank you very much, mate. You can be my Perez anytime. He's saying. Or is that too soon? Persil. Persigeli. Persigeli, yeah. He's getting a little close, but now the DRS is going to be activated. So if he stays just behind before that DRS line. Ooh, and there's Ooh. a little contact. There's a They're little kind of starting to slowly tumble down the order. But DRS activated is look at that pack go down the down the street. Three abreast as well oh, now too. And and Flevo is getting into more and more Running contact. side by side up the hill as we do have a a yellow flag in the That's third uh, Falco. Falco's gone around. Falco is off the track. The infamous twelve and thirteen complex, the fast uphill section of Bahrain. Yeah. Dougie Falcon's getting ahead of Tigsy. Uh these guys uh, know each other very well as uh, two of the three big contenders of and last now, season. Persigol as then it's not over just yet. It's going to tuck in behind Thomas. We've got Jacob for pressure big time behind. And Flevo's caught this party. They are on the different tires. I mean, you might want to pull that one up, mate, because that's the mediums and oh, softs yeah. as well. Yeah, acquisitions yeah. as well as Persigeli. So they're making some huge gains. Oh, there's uh, a massive yeah. crash with Alabino, Alabano. And that was, I think that was out of turn, uh, I'm trying to spot it. Jeez, that's out of turn 11. That's a high-speed crash. Will that cause a safety car? Yes, it will. It has to. Many people overtake. There he goes. He's on the gas pedal. Yeah. But behind, that's where the key is. Tigsy Danza. They could take massive advantage of the situation, of course. It's the art of a restart. They, uh, you know, Bradley getting away very cleanly uh, and making some gains down the road. very tight and very hard to keep on track as well he's able to make an overtake through that tight complex so good on him catch all the action Bahrain is a very hard track because there's a lot of overtakes going on especially when everybody's bunched up Colin and Nick I think P16 P17 are making a little bit of an overtake Ooh, yeah Colin had a little bit of a switchback right there trying to get some gains ah, back without DRS he's committed to it he has yeah. to at that point when you go on side by side that's also going to allow the Ferrari I think of Carlos to sneak through there yes it is so he opened the door for the Ferrari behind him yeah. and let a few drivers. And now Acti wants a piece of that party. Look at that. Acti on Jacob. And look up the road there too. Carlos and Gonsanda. And that's Carlos going around. That is grip. There's much stick. Look at They're very durable. But, you know, trying to keep somebody with fresh mediums on behind you is a difficult task. And so far, Acti's trying to do it as he's trying to get past Jacob that's on the mediums. DRS will be enabled yeah, now. Guys. And there could be a run there from Jacob on Cole, and yes, it is. It looks like take candy for baby. That DRS is almighty and powerful. He allows enough space, of course, to see. Oh, and we. Cullen. I think we do have. To see. Oh, and we. Cullen. I think we do have. Danza. Danza is out. Well, yeah, he was spinning around. He's not out. Out. His car's Ooh, gone no, around. He's definitely. He's definitely. See what's going to happen there. And look at this. Dougie Falcons now putting a bit of pressure. It's as close as it's been to Bradley. All, all race long. I heard you beep in the background there, so I hope your computer's all okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're all good. Then by uh, lapping that lap earlier, that's going to be interesting. And now that's going to look bad for Bradley. Oh, and we, oh look at that stricken uh, Alpine. Cut is. You're going to have the fresher tires on one lap before your opponent does, oh, allowing you ooh, to get more sorry. speed. And you could get ahead of Tixi. Uh, he might have just covered off Tixi. Tixi's had a power slide coming out of that. Sorry to cut you off there, because that was close out of the pit line. And he did just... He can he get the move on Fawn? It looks like Fawn is using a little bit of D, uh, ERS as he is struggling. Dougie's struggling to, you know, catch him. The Haas is uh, really giving it everything it's got. 
to stay ahead. You know, I have a hypothesis. I think Dougie is purposely staying behind uh, Vaughn. He, I don't think he was using DRS. I think I caught a glimpse of the mirror, but it looks like Vaughn went off the track, and now I think Dougie... I want a piece of that DRS. At the moment, Acti now putting a bit of pressure there on our race. Look at how bunched up they are. It's not just Acti, it's Ooh, Flevo too. And Flevo. As you mentioned, yeah, as you Flevo mentioned. has kind of been there consistently. Is Oh, it looks like these two got a little too tangled up on the exit of turn two. And since on Acti. That's because uh, Acti's on those harder tires, but Acti's going to be like smiling a little later on when those hard tires come into play and those uh, soft tires are uh, start to pull off on that one whether Flevo can or not will be up to Flevo's decision on how nice he is to his tyres I doubt it but because he's about 43% on those tyres and we're just over halfway unfortunate yeah got a bit of work to do there too now to get that yeah, back to pit lane be a quick repair for that wing so we see Sand. Jacob can he get the late break on Guan Sander he's going to have the DRS on the second straight one Sander going a little wide off the track, but side by side, keeping it clean as well on top of it. Because they are yeah, two think, seconds down the road. As you mentioned, that, f that first straight has a DRS checkpoint right at the end of the DRS uh, acceptance yeah, obviously. zone. Uh, as Gon Sanders boxing, so yes, he has to. His tires are 70%, my friend, front left for the Gon Star. Punishing territory. But he's okay. He still lives to see it the other day. Could we see moving to turn one so far? 14. That's how many places are going to drop. That's how close they are right now yeah. on track. And Sydney going for the move on Acti. Flevo just really enjoying this. As it's for Flevo, as he's wasting time on his tires while Acti and Sydney are utilizing the time they have on those hards to really get ahead. Senna and all fresh softs. Easy Let's left go down. on board yeah. with Sydney. See if you can get a good view of this pack catching Acti with that DRS. Flevo with the flashing red light, meaning he's low on that DRS. That could play a crucial... Yeah, start hurting these likes like uh, yeah, everybody else, like Bradley and Flon and all that with some fresher boots. They're gonna, this is going to be interesting. You're going to start seeing drivers get a little bit eager here with the different pace difference. The pace difference. Difference. Way closer than he has been in the last couple laps, so he's able to just start picking up the pace a little bit, but... As we've mentioned, those mediums are quickly starting to fall off a cliff. So how long until Flevo decides it's time to just pit? Because if he does, he's losing out. He's losing it to Carlos. Carlos is losing another place. It looks like to Bradley. So yeah, they're falling off now. And if you're going to box, you'd have to do it now. Because otherwise, you're not going to have enough time later on to do anything about overtakes with fresh boots. And I think right now what they're doing... This is the time to box and Cine, and you just saw Carlos lose a couple of places pretty quickly as well as Colin. So yeah, you're getting eaten alive. Bradley is so much more confident on the tires with the Red Bull. He just sticks it up the inside there. Bang. It sticks because... That gap. Sydney is going to be able to close up a lot faster. So we see ahead. Fawn actually attacking Flevo. Making a run at him. Oh. Yeah, but Flevo is trying to make a run at Acti all at the same time. Even to keep it on the angle of that to see how it looks like from Bradley's point of view. He's just sitting there going... Uh, I don't know if I'm sure to be a part of this. Yes, he does. Oh, and Bradley <laughs> lodges one up on the inside yeah. of Flevo. A little contact. Oh, so he goes around. That's behind. That's Flevo. Flevo's going around. Knocked down a tiny bit. Yeah, look at this. At the but moment, they're acting, taking, the acting's in trouble. That's somebody else going around. Oh, that's Ball. He's made an error. And that's fun. Uh, fun. Yeah. fun lost the back end just a little bit. And did he re-enter? Yeah, again, he is. And then the Red Bull of Carlos is thinking about this. Very, very close. Dougie's not in this party so much, was I'm surprised. Because Dougie dropped, dropped back. back. 40s, 40s, 41s, 42s. Tixies, oh. who is out? That's Carlos. Carlos, Carlos has spun in the pack, tight on the run out of turn. He's spinning a little bit. Acti though, under pressure from Fawn again. Oh, Acti. there's Fawn going around. There's Fawn, Fawn going around. Acti, a little a couple of elbows too far out. We kind of knew this is going to happen, isn't it? They, we, they, I think they were very lucky. That race was he at one point, and now. He could be very much winning this race. Because I don't know if these drivers are going to stay out on these boots, mate. What would you do? Juan uh, Sander I... and Jacob are in the prime position to, you know, really get a good win out of this race. With the fresher and softs compared to the mid-pack is going to deal with this. Because now it's going to be a lot of drivers who are very quick on those fresh softs on a very rubbered in track. It's going to be a lot of battling throughout the mid-pack that might cause some possible other incidents as well. 
Uh, yeah, I, this is this is going to be tricky. Uh, pack of hungry soft tire sharks ready to pounce as we're going to get underway for the final couple of laps of this race of Paris One. Massey says it's called a race, guys. It's a motor race. Yeah, and as you mentioned, even the the lap count, knowing that now we're not actually going to get any DRS laps, so this is all pure pace. Or actually, it's the last one will indeed, because now he's going to give Dougie Falcons that DRS. If he stays ahead of him, he will be giving Dougie that DRS. Acti is battling it out on Dougie now. Oh, it looks like Acti could get Dougie. Dougie, this is where the tires are falling off the cliff. Dougie's a bit of a setting target because it's also a Tixie as well. It's also a Tixie as well. So yeah, yes, Dougie's two, tires are gone. Season, season protagonist, you know, Acti and Tixie now moving ahead. Uh, well, Dougie's trying back. You have to get past Bradley. You got to hurry up. Because if you, you don't, do it I'll get it. I will. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. do it or I will. And it looks like that. Bradley's going to try his butt off that Red Bull to try to keep him behind. But I think it's just delaying the inevitable, isn't it? And Fawn getting a little bit. I don't know if I called this clean racing at the end of the race. They are scrapping for anything they can get. Oh. And, and at this rate, Bradley is still oh. going to win yeah. on penalties now. Bradley just needs to be careful. He's got to keep his... He, he's got to keep this close side through there. Off Acti too. And Jacob. This is... Yeah. This is big, but here we go. Bradley rounding the final corner. Bradley is going to be taking be taking home the win provisionally. I think as we mentioned, these are very provisional numbers now with the amount of uh, penalties that are thrown. Two chat to us, of course. And you guys want to hear from him? So we're going we're gonna to be right back. We're going to round up some of these drivers and... Uh, See what we the we can get a recap on the race a little bit. It was a pretty hectic race, so we'll be right back.